Welcome back guys. In this video, we are going to learn one of the important interview questions. How to call one constructor from other constructor. So let me create few constructor over here. While creating a constructor, we have to go with the class name. Same name as the constructor name. So we can say public class name. So this is what your constructor. Now let me add a simple message. First constructor. So I'll create a one more constructor over here. So public. So here we need to add argument because no argument constructor already one constructor is there. So I'll add a argument over here say name. So now this is here we have a two constructor. Now we need to call one constructor from another constructor. So before that I'll call this constructor to main method first. So if you want to call, you need to create an instance of the class. Students plus one equal to new students. So this is the way we need to create an instance. So if I want to call this constructor, right? So if I'm creating an instance of this class, what happens? It is going to automatically call the no argument constructor because we are not pass any argument over here. So let me add a message here as well. Let me say we can construct here we can pass name as well. okay so now if I if I want to call this constructor so we need to create an instance so and now let me run this and now no argument constructor will be called if I want to call this argument constructor, what you have to do, you need to pass the argument over here. So if you pass the argument, so now here we have given a string, right? So we need to pass test. So now automatically it is going to call the argument constructor. So let me run this. See now it is called second constructor, that is argument constructor. So now what is our question? Question is how to call one constructor from another constructor. So for that, what we have to do within the same class, if you want to call one constructor from another constructor, we need to use a keyword called this. Right? So this keyword we have to use if you want to call one constructor from another constructor. Suppose if I want to call this, here you need to say this. Right? So what happened now already we have called argument constructor. So now if you run this, it will going to call the no argument constructor first. Then it is going to call the second second uh, you know argument argument constructor. So let me run this now. See the first constructor called and second constructor also are there. That is argument constructor also called. But here what we have done in main method we called only we initiate initiate the only one time only right so we are not calling an argument no argument constructor but it is called because already we have given this keyword over here so while using a this keyword you have to remember two points one is this keyword must be the first statement in the constructor so meaning that if suppose if i'm adding this method over here what happens it's going to throw you the error saying that constructor call must be the first statement in the constructor so it's not going to allow you to add the second statement, right? It should be the first statement of the constructor. Second thing is we cannot use a to this method. So I'll copy this one. And if I want to try one more this method, it is not going to allow you, right? So when you answer this question in interview, if you, you can say something in Java, if you are facing the question, how to call one constructor from another constructor, so you can say in Java constructor can be called using this keyword. This keyword allowing for the one constructor from another. However, there are certain constraints to consider when using an approach, this approach. First one is this method must be the initial statement within the constructor. Second one is it is important to note that constructor cannot contain more than one this method. This is the way you need to answer the question. I hope this is clear.